type of variation of a claret dabbler. So this is intended here for early spring fishing, so it's quite large. This is size 8, you can do it on sticks as well, or even a long shank. So it differs from your sort of original type doublers in that the tail here is, uh, instead of it being cock fastened, we have a bit of a red game hackle fibers, and then also a bit of uh, bronze mallard. Now if you're using the bronze mallard what you want to do is take a bit from the tip of a feather because it'll be straighter and easier dealt with as a tail. Lay in a few fibres of that on top and then stroke that back. It should sort of half mix those two materials. Now, um, the rib I'm going to use uh, a wide silver Flat tinsel. This, this is actually a vintage metal one that I'm using. Tie that in, and then the body, as suggested, the name of the fly is claret. So claret seal, some sort of claret double. double. Start to spin it. Put one turn on just to catch a few fibres, and that will then allow you to spin your dubbin rope tighter. take a red game type hackle. The one I'm using here actually has a black centre to it but that uh, that's not necessary. So we'll tie that in and then get it in our hackle pliers. few turns start like a head hackle and then start to hammer this backwards last turn hold up your hackle pliers so that you can then catch it with the first turn of tinsel bit of a pull on and then what I'm going to do is wiggle that tinsel through the hackles in an attempt not to tie many of them down. Underneath. Tie that off. I'm just trying not to cut my tie and thread with this metal tinsel. So snap off the tip of the feather and trim off the tinsel. I'm just going to squeeze that to force those back a little bit. If you want to make a bushier fly, put on another head hackle now. But I'm going to put on our dabbler wing. So I strip off the side of a, uh, of a bronze mallard feather. And then I'm just going to push the tips across to line them. Then I'm going to split that bunch, lay it on top so I've got double layers. And then I'll set this out on top of the fly to whatever length I want. I want it longer than the body length. I'm sort of squeezing it flat on top with my thumb and forefinger. And then I'm going to grip that bunch around the body of the fly and that sort of cloaks it over the top. Tie that in. Trim off all those waist ends. And I'm just going to add a little bit of super glue onto my thread there. Start at the front there, so it's going to stick into those cut ends. Finish it off. 
And if you want, you can sort of mess up that wing. As you can see, we have a sort of dabbler cloaked wing here. You can still see the underneath. A lot of dabblers now you see are the whole way around. That's up to yourself uh, whether you want to do that. Some do, some don't. But, uh, I think the original idea of it was to sort of tie it as a roof. Varnish that up. Check the eye is clear. And there we have a uh, claret dabbler variant.